Hello friends, very good morning. So let's get back to the work and uh, now a uh, very interesting topic, how to run the test in parallel, right? So parallel execution is always excite the developer and QA guys. So how to reduce your time, right? So in the J unit, we have a very fantastic features uh, to run the test cases in parallel. And uh, there are two approaches. So uh, try to understand like, uh, let's say there are two approaches like, uh, let's say there are 10 classes okay and every classes has a lot of uh, test cases okay every class has 10 so total test cases 100 so there are two ways you can run them in parallel one way is you run the classes in parallel so 10 threads will get generate okay and all the, and every thread will pick one class and after that it will run all the test cases uh, of that class okay so 10 thread will pick one one classes each and test cases will get executed this is one approach which is very common and which we can think another parallel approach is uh, classes will run sequentially basically thread one will come okay and it will pick first class and uh, after that let's say there are 10 methods right 10 methods so 10 different thread will get generated after that uh, 10 child thread and they will run all the method parallelly you are getting my point so thread 1 will come pick class 1 and we'll see how many methods are there okay there are 10 uh, let's say there are 10 methods or let's say there are 5 methods so it will generate JUnit will generate 5, five, 5 threads if there are 100 test cases so 100 threads will get generated and every thread will execute one method only and that after that the thread will get killed the child thread will get killed and the main thread will after running all these methods then the same thread will go to the class 2 and again we'll see oh there are 50 test cases fine let's generate 50 test cases finish the work parallelly after that the main thread again will go to jump to the class 3 so basically uh, the same thread is executing this 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 okay so based let's say first main thread is going into this and we'll see how many test cases are there based on that that my that many of uh, thread will get generated and will execute it all the method will be executed parallelly so this is a bit complex approach the simple approach is uh, there are let's say 20 classes uh, so 20 threads will come and one thread will go inside this and all the test cases will be executed sequentially so that's the thread which has been entered in this class will run this then this then this so same thread executed this this and this okay and after that that thread will get killed another thread will come it will open another class let's say thread 2 will come thread 2 will execute this so same thread will execute this test this test and this all the test cases will be executed by single thread so this way only 10 threads will be generated in normal approach and in another approach we don't know how many uh, so based on the number of methods those many of threads will be generated okay so let me explain you then I hope after that it will be clear to you uh, classes will run in parallel so let me show you the first basic approach this is the basic approach okay try to understand this is a basic one no complexity in this so what we are saying classes will run in parallel so if there are two classes let's say in your project so two thread will be generated only two a and b that's it and method inside classes will run in sequentially basically this is our a class so a thread will come the master a will come and master a will run all this thread then master second master the b class let's say this is our second class uh, second thread will get generated parallelly parallel to this so this is let's say m and j class so thread m will come go inside this run all the test cases thread j will come open this class run all the test cases present inside and all these test cases will run in sequential order right they will have some order okay so this is the meaning of this so uh, these are the property generate jupyter execution parallel enabled is true mode default is same thread so classes is uh, we have defined here and the class default is concurrent so classes will run in concurrent mode okay and default is same thread so these are the three property which you need to set 
and let me run so right now we are running only one class so only one thread will get generated and the same thread will execute all this and we have printed the name of the thread just to make sure we understand properly see uh, fork join pool one worker three so this is a uh, thread name and this thread is executing test one test a b c you can see all the name are exactly same so basically this this is a thread name join pool one worker three this thread has entered this class and executed all this test cases so every test cases has been executed by the thread which has been entered into this class similar to this if we have another class so second thread will get generated and that second thread will execute all the method present in that class so to how many total thread generated only two if we have two classes right two classes two threads simple approach okay even if the test cases are thousand let's say there are thousand test cases still in that case so let me uh, uh, put here in the in the first approach let's say there are two classes uh, two classes so class one is having 50 test cases class 2 is having uh, 60 test cases okay so what will happen in the normal approach which I am uh, telling you now two threads only two threads will get generated okay a and B so a will run all the 50 cases in sequential order thread B so let me write here T1 thread 1 and thread 2 thread 2 will uh, uh, enter into the class 2 which is having 60 test cases and thread 2 T2 will run all the 60 cases in sequential order right so how many thread total generated in this case only two threads and thread 1 will run 50 cases thread 2 will run 60 cases right because class 1 is having 50 cases and class 2 is having 60 cases so two thread and this much of time okay so this is one approach now let's see the second approach and we have printed the uh, thread name and the name is exactly same so we know that single thread is running all the test cases in one class okay now let's see the second approach <clears throat> let me comment and uncomment this one so what we are doing here classes will run sequentially okay classes will run in sequentially if there are 10 classes same thread will enter all the classes okay make a note same thread will enter all the classes but after entering into the classes method inside the classes to be run in parallel so method which are present in the class they will be run in parallel so new thread will get generated after entering into the main class so the properties uh, parallel execution is enabled because we are running in parallel mode default mode will be concurrent and the class default will be the same thread so classes will be run by the same thread in this case in the above case classes has been run by different different threads okay so with this property let me save <clears throat> and now we know that only one thread for all the classes one master thread will enter here and after that the master thread will see oh there are three classes there are three methods so i need to generate three child threads new okay so those name will be uh, so so thread name should come different here okay not the same like in previous case let me run okay so you can see for join pool one worker five three seven so every time for every test cases thread is different five three seven so fifth thread entered here third here seventh here so different so what is happening again the same same example what is happening here let's say there are two classes class one is having 50 and the, so how many thread will be generated thread will be only one per class so thread one will enter into the c1 class and inside the c1 uh, the thread will see oh there are 50 test cases so, so 50 new child thread will be created and all 50 will run one one test cases okay so 
so this way and again in child in class 2 the same thread this thread will get enter okay after completing the task of this class once all the these 50 cases run in parallel then thread 1 will jump from this class and jump into the class 2 which is now after jumping into the class 2 the thread 1 will see oh how many test cases are there okay there are 60 okay now generate a 60 new child threads and run all the cases parallelly and finish the work once the task will be finished then thread the same thread will see oh there is there is any new class if yes then count the number of cases and generate a new thread otherwise if there are no new classes okay the task is done okay so there are two different approaches so i hope this is clear to you and thanks for watching the channel and i hope with this i am done with all the JUnit stuff i have if i found anything new in the JUnit file i will definitely go and create new series till then thank you have a good day and keep learning and keep sharing something which you are learning this way the world will be a better place thank you have a nice day goodbye be safe and be healthy